in 2018, the album, Dad AF. Rock on, gold dust woman. Well, you asked for a different intro. Boost! Okay. Let's get right into this video. First of all, I have a couple things to say. A lot of people have commented on my camera being fuzzy or something. I don't know what is wrong with my camera. When I watch it back, it looks completely fine. So I went out and I purchased a new camera. It is being shipped to my house. I sh it should be here tomorrow. So uh, this video that I'm about to make, number one, has been requested by the influencer. Now, I used to say back in the day that these beauty influencers would be very, very smart if they would reach out to drama channels to make a video. So I will tell you that publicly, <laughs> this influencer requested this video, number one. Number two, this might be the most explosive video that I have ever done about a drama topic. I mean, any <sighs> beast <laughs> above and beyond more explosive than anything that I have ever talked about. And it's about BeautyCon, okay? Do we know what BeautyCon is? Well, BeautyCon is basically like a con. It's a con, see? No. It's a convention where beauty influencers, makeup companies, all these people come and they do a lot of meet and greets and all this kind of stuff. Now, I did not realize that there were live performances. I have never seen this before until this year, okay? But I had heard and I had planned to go to BeautyCon. I had, okay? The people were begging. They were like, Peter, please come to BeautyCon. So it was... I was planning on coming to BeautyCon. I was gonna do a meet and greet by the bathrooms, okay? You could come over there and I was gonna do a little performance, right? Well, when I saw Patrick Starr's performance, I was not happy, okay? Now, did y'all see Bring It On back in the day when they go to nationals and like three of the teams all have the same choreography because they paid that choreographer and he just used the same choreography across the board? Okay, well, I was not happy. I paid a lot of money for my choreography, okay, for my meet and greet. I did. I practiced and I practiced and I practiced over and over and over in my apartment. Or in my apartment, I live in a condo. I live in a house. I live in a mansion. I live in a castle. Say whatever you want to say. I live in a condo. So anyway, I practiced over and over and over again. And what do I see? Patrick Starr doing this live performance with the exact same choreography that I had used. You don't believe me? You want to see my practice routines right next to Patrick Starr's performance? Roll it. I mean, so see, there was no reason for me to go to BeautyCon because Patrick Starr already had done my choreography. Patrick's always stealing the spotlight from me. Patrick Starr. Okay, let's get right into this. So yesterday, ding a ling a ling, shim a ling ding ding dong a ding. House of Drama Drama Phone, this is Peter speaking. Oh, hi, Jane, how are you? I'm feeling much better today, Jane. Thanks for asking. Well, I had the runs yesterday, Jane. The runs, the runs, J the toilet. I was on the toilet all day, Jane. No, it wasn't because of the gimlets. No, um, they never do that to me. Uh, uh. Bailey's Irish cream does, but no, not the. What? Well, I went to Petacon yesterday and I uh, met Thomas Halbert. He's such a nice young man. Oh, uh, uh huh. Well, I met Thomas Halbert. I don't think he was feeling very good. Um, I saw something on the Twitter that he had had diarrhea too, and then, well, then I came home and I just I was down with the runs all day long. I think it was. Well, I know I feel bad for all those people that met Thomas Halbert at uh, BeautyCon. They probably all are sitting at home on the toilet today. Oh, I think that would be... Uh, can you imagine? The worst way to go in the entire world is on the toilet. Your family would come home and they'd find you just dead on the toilet. Can you even imagine? Well, I know. All right. Gone by the shitter, I guess. Well, all right, Jane. I'll talk to you later. Bye. <laughs> so anyway, Thomas Halbert yesterday tweeted this thing out. And he put, can a drama channel make a video tied to Tom... Tom I can't. I just... Ah! Can Tom... Can Thomas Halbert... Can a drama channel make a video titled Thomas Halbert has explosive diarrhea at BeautyCon exposed? 
Absolutely, except I'm not gonna title my video that. I don't know what I'm gonna title it yet. So I went through here and I had seen a lot of people talking about this because he was kind of feeding this story a little bit, right? And so if you go down here, he says yesterday on his, before he's like heading to uh, BeautyCon, he goes, gonna keep it MF and real with y'all. I was in the way, I was on the way to BeautyCon and I dead ass shit myself in the Uber and had to come back home. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so that was the first part of this illustrious and beautiful thread, okay? That then goes on to tell us about all of Thomas Halbert's medical issues. <laughs> If you go up there, then it says, somebody, uh, he tweets out, hold on, was it him or was it somebody else? He tweets out, good morning, my wings are even, are even today, it's a good day, thanks. And then right next to it, he puts up this tweet that says, they're gonna keep it real with you guys. And he puts, a beautiful beginning with a tragic ending. And then if you go up here, he says, hello, my meetup at BeautyCon is at the social spot between 2 and 3 p.m. Show up even if you don't have the social upgrade. I'm, I'll make security let you in or I'll come out and meet you. Thomas, did we not learn anything from TanaCon? You don't promise everybody a spot, okay? Anyway, that's not this video. I could make this up video though. But anyway, um, then he goes on here. He goes, okay, on my way to BeautyCon. See you guys at Meet and Greet. So it's like, okay, but no tweets in between what happened in the back of this Uber. And now, oh, I'm on my way to BeautyCon. Yep, everything <laughs> fresh and clean, fresh and clean. So I'm like, hmm, well, this is very, very interesting. So, um, <laughs> so then this girl tweets to him. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Thomas. I shit myself Albert back with another video because <laughs> there was a video back in the day. Do you remember that of this? Okay. So then he, he says, I don't want to brag, but I'm having explosive diarrhea in a gender neutral bathroom while Tessa Brooks is literally in this bathroom getting ready backstage at BeautyCon. And then he says, every time there's a poop noise, I flush the toilet. I wonder if, it, I, okay, Thomas, I have to just say, <laughs> In the world of beauty, this is why I effing love you, okay? You keep it so real, it's hilarious. Now, I don't necessarily love people that need to talk about what's going on with their systems all the time, if you know what I mean. But this was like so over the top that it was just kind of the humor that yesterday that I needed. He says, every time there's a poop noise, I flush the toilet. I wonder if they're catching on. <laughs> Um, and then, so anyway, uh, then he says, can a drama channel make a video titled Thomas Halber has explosive diarrhea at BeautyCon Exposed? And, um, so he goes in here and he keeps on talking about it and talking about it. So I was like, um, you know what? I think that I'm going to reach out to Tom, Thomas, Thomas, Thomas. Um, I think I'm going to reach out. He just, I just, he literally just tweeted me back, direct message me. And he goes, Nick, no, you can, because I asked him, I said, can I use this? And he goes, yeah, absolutely. So I reached out to him and I said, hey, listen, <laughs> I'm making a very serious video about your explosive diarrhea at BeautyCon. Would you like to give me a statement on <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 20 years ago when I was getting my master's degree, I one day too dreamed that I would be on Twitter DMing a beauty influencer um, about his explosive diarrhea at a beauty convention. <laughs> Do you dream of those things too? And guess what? All of my dreams have come true. Because I'm YouTube famous now. Okay, so anyway. So I did, I reached out to Thomas and I said, hey listen, I'm gonna make this kind of like lighthearted video. Would you like to give me a statement? Okay, so he truly goes in here and gives me the entire rundown. I mean, it is a long statement, you guys, look, okay? He gives me this entire rundown of what happened. Are you ready? Okay. Okay, <laughs> here's the situation. My parents went away for a week's vacation and they left the keys to, okay, anyway. Okay, so day one, I am, listen, I am having a day today. I am in such great spirits today. You two should be in great spirits today. Are you having an amazing day? Have an amazing day, unless you have other plans. All right, okay, so day one of BeautyCon, I got hella drunk because they had an open bar in the talent lounge. So I was a little drunk, but alcohol always gives me a headache, so I left and came back home to rest. I took the three ibuprofen and ordered Jack in the Box on... Now, girl, you don't order no Jack in the Box when you're not feeling so good, okay? That's like getting the Whitey Castile, White Castles, or Taco Bell at four in the morning when you're drunk. Now, I haven't had a drink since I was 22 and a half because I'm clean and sober, but I'm telling you right now, I'm not stupid. I know that. You're going to wake up the next day with runs the house. You should know that. Okay. So he said, I left and came back home to rest. 
rest. I took like three ibuprofen and ordered Jack in the Box on Postmates because I hadn't ate all day. I'm assuming vodka sprites mixed with greasy fast food didn't sit well too well with my stomach because the next morning I felt like I had to shit but nothing was coming out. Oh, TMI, TMI, TMI. Well, I asked. I mean, I asked for the statement, didn't I? Till I got in the damn Uber on the way to my meet and greet at BeautyCon. I asked the driver to st stop somewhere, but at that point, it was too late. Girl. <laughs> ah. Ah. <laughs> you ain't seen no drama channel out there like this. Come on now, okay? You haven't. I don't care. You have never seen these kind of receipts or exclusive statements. Girl, I have never shit myself as an adult like ever, but this was different. It didn't let me... <laughs> It didn't let me hold it in. Luckily, I was wearing six pairs of underwear. <laughs> I mean, it's just Thomas. I mean, I don't, you need to go. You need to be a comedy channel, okay? Fuck this beauty stuff. This just gets better and better. Luckily, I was wearing six pairs of underwear. That's my trick I like to do when I wear tight pants or bottoms so I don't get a penis camel toe. What? <laughs> Girl, okay, the Uber stank like shit. I felt so bad. Literally the most embarrassing experience of my life. I came home and cleaned myself up. It was a lot, <laughs> he says. I had to shower uh, and get ready again. Now I'm at BeautyCon and I have the feeling again. <laughs> we Okay, listen, okay? I don't care who you are out there. I don't care what you think about yourself and that you are so classy, okay? You pick the classiest beauty influencer in the entire world. I don't care who they are. You, listen, pick somebody, okay? You wanna tell them, you wanna tell me that you think their shit don't stink or literally they have never had this happen to them in their life? We have all, at one point in our lives, had this experience, okay? I don't care who you are. Every one of us has had this experience, but we don't talk about it, okay? So he says, now I'm at BeautyCon and I am having the feeling again. So I rush to the bathroom, which is gender neutral, yay for that, but fucking Tessa Brooks is in there getting ready. So I'm shitting my brains out again 30 minutes before my meet and greet and it's so fucking loud. I had to flush the toilet every time I made a no it made a noise. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I had to. I mean, I, am, I was that kid. I mean, I was totally that kid in elementary school. So I'm shitting my brains out again 30 minutes before my meet and greet. I mean, I, you guys were so lucky that got to meet him yesterday. You were so lucky. I saw your pictures all over the place, okay? Did you smell it? <laughs> so I'm 30 minutes before my meet and greet, and it's so fucking loud I had to flush the toilet every time it made a noise. I also flushed every time I pooped so the smell wouldn't consume the bathroom hole. Sis, this was so fucking embarrassing. I'm, a, I'm at a huge event where everyone's perfect, everyone has hair, makeup and outfits to the nines, and I'm shitting my fucking brains out in the middle of it. Thankfully, I took some medicine and I was good and was able to meet so many awesome subscribers. And I messaged him back and I said, aw, ha ha, I'm so sorry, that sounds miserable. Do you care if I read this? And he said, yeah. He goes, no, it's cool. So thank you for uh, Thomas. He's always, like whenever I ask him for a statement or whatever, <laughs> He's always so, you know, totally transparent, and I love that about him, so thank you for doing that. Um, but that is kind of a miserable experience, and I wasn't going to make a video about it, but I wanted to do something kind of lighthearted today. But, you know, at the same time, it's like, this is what I talk about with beauty influencers and even bigger YouTubers that, like, keep it real and keep it relatable. We have all had that moment, okay? We have all had that moment in our lives when we're really excited about something, and listen... Okay, the real world steps in and says, not today, okay? And poor Thomas had that iconic, explosive event yesterday in his life. So, there's my drama video for today. <laughs> I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.